Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I am a homeschooling mother to four children ages 11, 7, 2, and 5 months old. And today I am sharing with you what we are going to be using for math for the upcoming school year. So this video is in collaboration with Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool and make sure you check out their channels down below as well as all of the other collaborators in this series. So I am going to start with my um, son who is going to be in more of a second grade. He's seven years old and he is currently working through the first grade math with confidence he just started it in january um, after we were using bju grade one we decided to make the switch we're actually going through it somewhat quickly we're focusing on the areas that he was struggling with a little bit things like place value and addition and subtraction things like that um, other concepts like graphs and shapes and things like that we've kind of been skipping over so I think he'll probably be starting this closer to the second six weeks of our next school year, which is totally fine. But this is what he's going to be getting into. Now, since he does use the second grade math with confidence, so they actually have things like review and enrichment games, activities, things like that built into this curriculum. So I don't feel like we need a lot of extras with math this year. We do have the addition facts that stick but I don't think we'll need it because they're pretty much all in these books so um if you would like a flip through on the second grade math with confidence I have that on my channel I also have the first grade math with confidence look inside so I will put those right up there so that you guys can check those out so for my 11 year old we are going to be doing apology is level five this year they do not have a math with confidence for fifth grade they are starting a pilot program in may and i really went back and forth with that do we want to do that do we not um i think for us i just decided that we did not want to do that because he does not have a lot of his math facts for multiplication and division mastered and that's kind of part of the criteria that they need so I just decided that since this is actually brand new and I also have a look inside on my channel as well if you're interested in this so I'm not gonna look into it too much but this also incorporates um, review and activities and um, different fun games and things like that so I think we probably don't need a ton, but the biggest difference that people in the Math with Confidence group said, or and in other groups that I asked in on Facebook, they said that the biggest difference between Apology and Math and Math with Confidence was that mm, Math with Confidence incorporated a little bit more review than Apology did. So because of that, I went ahead and purchased the multiplication facts that stick and the division math facts that stick so these are basically just games and activities and different things like that to really help the child master math facts um, without having to do things like flashcards and things like that so they're not just memorizing math facts they're actually mastering them and so I think that this will be good because he we will have the apology that he can do and I won't you know I've never been part of a pilot program before but I feel like you know you're gonna have to give feedback and you're going to have to kind of maybe work on their time schedule I'm gonna have to print everything out everything like that so I just decided to stick with the Apologia math this time so I forgot that I did actually purchase some things for math this year so for my seven-year-old I got some addition flashcards these are just the Disney Marvel ones um, he really likes Spider-Man, so I went ahead and got him those. I also got him the Star Wars Subtraction ones. I got him the Addition and Subtraction War game. We do play very similar games like this in um, the Math with Confidence, but I think that this will just be a little bit more fun for him. Maybe something we can take places and things like that where it's not necessarily associated with his curriculum and then for my oldest i went ahead and got the math war as well but his is the multiplication version 
I did want to mention that we do also love incorporating different games and things like this. This is the money bags game. We have lots of other printable games and things like that that we like to use for math. I also actually did a video about different games, primarily math games, that we like to use for our homeschool and so I will link that up there as well. Okay guys, so that is everything from me today. Make sure you check out that playlist down below and thank you so much to our wonderful hosts again this week. I will be back with you guys next week and I'll see you then. Bye.